ओके हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वेयर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द इंडेक्स नंबर इन केस ऑफ इंडेक्स नंबर दे विल गिव यू द प्राइस ऑफ द बेस ईयर पी जीरो मीन्स द प्राइस ऑफ द बेस ईयर क्यू जीरो मीन्स क्वांटिटी ऑफ द बेस ईयर पी वन इज द प्राइस ऑफ द करेंट ईयर क्यू वन इज द क्वांटिटी ऑफ द करेंट ईयर सो दिस इज वॉट वी रिक्वायर सो आई एम हाईलाइटिंग द Price of the current year and the base year, which we require for calculation of quotient in case of the index number. So this is what we require. And for the formula, we have to use the last pair and past year method. So for the formula, we need the last pair and past year method. So in this case, last pair method means we have to multiply it by the quantity of the base year. Past year means we have to multiply it by the quantity of the current year. Fisher's means we have to take the square root of both the formulas. So what we need? We need p zero q zero p zero q one p zero p one q one p one p zero q one. So in this case, so this is what we need. So you can solve it by using the simple multiplication formula which we use. मैनुअली जब हम क्वेश्चन करते हैं दैट टाइम वी यूज दैट वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई द प्राइस ऑफ द करेंट ईयर एंड प्राइस ऑफ द सॉरी प्राइस ऑफ द करेंट ईयर पी वन वी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द पी वन सो वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई द प्राइस ऑफ द करेंट ईयर एंड डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द फॉर्मूला इफ इट इज द लास्ट ईयर सो वी विल मल्टीप्लाइड बाय द लास्ट ईयर क्वान्टिटी एंड इफ वी आर using the past year method in that case we will multiply p1 by the current year quantity so we have two option we can solve it directly and we can solve it by the simple so one method is that what you can do you want p1 and q0 you can select this and then you can multiply this and this and individually you will calculate it you will sum it and then you can do it the shortcut method is what you can do you can apply the formula and in that formula we will use the sum product so we have to product it and then it will give you the sum of that value so in that case you can see that in case of the last pair we want the sum product of p1 q0 and in denominator we want the sum product of p0 q0 price of the base year and quantity of the base year similarly in case of the past year method we want the sum product of p1 price of the current year quantity of the current year and in denominator we want the sum product of the price of the current year price of the base year and quantity of the current year so we can easily estimate it so for that what we have to use we have to use the sum product so i am writing some product then we have to give the reference and before that what we have to do we can use one more brackets here so in this case some product what is what value you want to for some product you have to select it so the first method which we are using here is the last pair method so in that case we want the price of the current year and quantity of the base year so what is the price of the current year these are the price of the current year right and what is the price what is the quantity for the base year this is the quantity for the base year by using the shift and arrow key i have selected it so i want some product of this for the numerator so i am closing the bracket and in denominator i want to apply this formula again why because in denominator i want the some product of the price of the base year and quantity of the base year so this is the price of the base year so by using shift and arrow key i am selecting this is the price of the base year and as it is the last pair method we need the price quantity of the base year then close it and you can see that in starting that i have used this extra bracket so i have to close this also enter and in this case one thing i have missed out that we have to multiply it by the 
hundred. So the end we can multiply it by the hundred. So you can see that we are getting the same answer. So this is for the last pair, and then we can apply for the past year method. So again, we will apply the same formula. I am starting from the brackets. And why I am starting from the bracket? Because in numerator and denominator, I am using the two formulas. So to give you the impression that they are two complete different formulas. So I am using the brackets, then sum product, bracket open, and in this we want the price of the current year and quantity of the current year. Then go to the price of the current year by using shift and arrow key selected, and then. We want the quantity of the current year. Shift and arrow key. Quantity of the current year. Close it. After closing it, in denominator we want one more formula. So we will use the sum product here for the denominator. So in denominator, what we want, we can see that the formula is P zero Q zero. So we will use the P zero comma And in this case, we want the P zero Q one because this is the past year method. So I'm selecting the current year quantity, and I'm closing the brackets as I have opened one extra bracket. So I'm closing that. And as per the formula, we have to multiply it by the hundred. So I'm multiplying by the hundred. Enter. So this is the way to calculate the last pair in past year method. And in case of Fisher's, Fisher's is basically the square root of the last pair and past year method. So what we have to use? We have to use the square root formula, and for square root we have S Q R T, and then we have to select the numbers. So for numbers we will select the values which we estimated for the last pair in past year method, and in this case, this is the first value, and we want to multiply with the second value, and so. As per the formula, it is the square root of the multiplication of the last pair and past year method. So we have taken the, we have estimated the square root of last pair and past year method. You can see the colors now. Close the bracket, enter. So you can see that we can get the fishes. So when we are taking the square root of last pair and past year method, at that time we do do not multiply with the hundred. So this is the case related to the index number. So in index number, it's very easy, and by using the sum product formula, you can directly estimate it. We are not required to estimate it individually and then total it. So that is the lengthier method. In this case, we just apply the sum product method, and we can get the value of the last pair method. Thank you.